spiral model. The spiral model is also known as the spiral life cycle model. Is a systems development life cycle SDLC. The model used in information technology. This model of development combines the features of the prototyping model, and the waterfall model. The spiral model is favored for large expensive and complicated projects. The spiral model is an incremental risk-oriented life cycle. The model has four main phases which are identified here. It's like this planning, risk analysis, design, evaluation. A software project will go through these phases in an iterative way. This is the nature of the process and here's how it works. In the first phase the planning, requirements will be gathered. In the second phase risk analysis, the risk and the alternate solution will be identified and a prototype will be produced. Software and tests for the software will be produced. In the third phase, which is the design phase for the development and test phase. Finally, in the fourth phase, the output of the project has so far is evaluated and the next iteration is planned. And this becomes your prototype 1 then the process reiterates. And this will be your prototype 2 and the process will reiterate until you go to your final solution your final release. Basically what the spiral model process prescribes is a way of developing software by going through these phases iteratively. Meaning you go back to the very beginning of the phase but you have something with you, and output and all you need to do is to plan for another enhancement to get the desired output. In which you learn more and more of the software you identify and resolve risk more and more until you go more and more to your final solution. Your final release There are several advantages of a spiral model The first one is Risk reduction The extensive risk analysis reduces the chance of the project to fail Second is that functionality can be added in the later phase because of the iterative nature of the process. Software is produced early in a software lifecycle which means in every iteration you have something to show for your the development you don't need to wait until the end before producing something. And of course of the advantage. You can get from the early feedbacks of the customer about what you produce. There are also disadvantages about the spiral model. The spiral model is way more complex than other models like waterfall the whole success of the process is highly dependent on the risk analysis therefore risk analysis has to be done right or else. Time and funds will be wasted also. Risk analysis requires highly specific expertise and it can be costly to implement. When to use the spiral model. 1. When costs and risk evaluation is important. 2. When users are unsure of their needs. 3. When significant changes are expected research and exploration use.